Hey everybody, Joy here. Happy Labor Day. Are you laboring today? <laughs> I'm finally laboring today. <laughs> oh, good heavens. I have been so, so busy working on the second part of the private project that um, my rooms are just an absolute total mess. But I think I'm going to finish them all up this week and um, then next week I can get back to maybe starting a sew along on one of those patterns we talked about because I really want to so I put this on this morning and it was cold in here yeah look 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 it's fall you all it is fall it's fall here it's cooler in the daytime cool at night and it's rained and rained and rained and rained so I decided to wear my pumpkin today <laughs> I love pumpkins in uh, quilts and on shirts and stuff, but I don't ever buy a real pumpkin. Do you and pumpkin pie? Oh, <gasps> I have had two cans of pumpkin in my pantry for probably two years now. And every time I go to get them, I think, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, because Jerry doesn't even eat it. And I eat the whole entire pie. I don't eat it all in one day. At least I'm not that bad. <laughs> But I do eat it. And you know, I like a little bit of pumpkin pie with my whipped cream. <laughs> so I just don't dare make it. I just look at it and think, oh, that would be so good. <laughs> Maybe for real Thanksgiving in November, I'll make one. The pumpkin will probably have expired by then. So I just wanted to say good morning and answer two questions. I think I might have had more than two questions, but I can only remember two of them right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. This quilt, I've had so many compliments on it. Some people say it's my favorite quilt of all you have. It's my favorite quilt too. I think it's just absolutely amazing. But I did not make it. I quilted it and I put the borders on it. And one of you said, well that border is way too thin. You should have had a much wider border. That is probably true, but I don't have wider walls, and I didn't have a wider bed, and I didn't have a wider place to hang it. So, since it was so large to start with, it had to have narrow borders. So I added the black, the purple, and the black. But some other amazing, amazing person on eBay made the top. When I first bought my long arm machine in 2006, I didn't make quilts then. I had started the uh, chicken quilt like 10 years before and had parts of it made and the rest of it was in a box because we owned a business and I worked all the time then. And I just didn't have the time I have now. But when I got that long arm, I wanted to finish the chicken quilt and start some other quilt projects, but I didn't have any. So I ordered quilts, quilt tops, just tops, from eBay. You can do it too. But you won't find this there anymore. Whoever was making these evidently passed away or something, I don't know, because it's been years and years and years since I've seen these. But she used to have dozens of them. And I was just amazed, absolutely amazed, that somebody could make something this fabulous, get everything perfect on it. The points, <laughs> the points. You know how hard it is to make a quilt and have the points match? I paid $75 for this quilt top, you guys. $75. I wish I had bought every one she had <laughs> because I sure could sell them now. But I quilted it all by myself, no computer, just the long arm. And it's got amazing detail in it. I wish I could show you the detail. I don't know if I even got the camera real close up. I'll try. I'll try. Because for being a brand new quilter with no computer, I think I did a pretty good job. Let me see if I stand real still. Can you see the feathers that I sewed? I think you can. I think you can see it. The feathers that I sewed into that star. And I've got feathers. See these feathers? This is freehand. And it goes all the way around all the way around this star. See? The feathers go all the way around. So, I loved this piece so much 
that I did not want to mess it up. So I probably spent months making this. And I tried different things. What do I have in here? Uh, I don't know, but it looks really nice. Look at that. It's like a sun. A swirl and a sun. I mean, I can't even believe this is my work. <laughs> and then I did just straight lines in the triangles. And what did I do out here? Oh, I named this Oh My Stars. And so out here in the border, freehand, I did loops and stars. So I hope you can tell what that is. I won't know until I edit this if you can see it very good. And then I put leaves in here somewhere. I put leaves in here also. Where's the leaves? See the leaf? Here the leaf goes here and down and in. And over and down and in. And I did it the whole way up and down that triangle. See, it's like little mountains. And I did leaves the whole way up and down and all the way around. Can you see it there? I think you can see it there pretty good. Leaves. So, yeah, I am real proud of this thing. I think I want them to put that in my casket with me. Keep me warm. But I did not make the top. I wish I could say I did. I cannot tell you the pattern, but I can tell you. You're welcome to copy the picture of it. And it's just a thousand half square triangles is what it is. It's a thousand half square triangles. So that was the answer to question number one. Is there a pattern for this quilt? If there is, you're going to have to find it. <laughs> but you're welcome to copy this. Okay. I had lots of questions on the lemon blouse I was wearing in my video just before this video. I really love that lemon blouse. And I made it again, and I actually did a video of me making it the second time. And I'll try to find it, and I'll put a link below or up here or over here. I never know where it's going to be. If you see a little round circle with an eye in it, and you move your cursor up there and hold it over it, um, it should open up. If I find that video, I will put it there, okay? But I have made it twice, and this is the pattern. You see the lemons? And then this other material is the one that I did the video on. Now this blouse does not have a zipper in the back, but I put a zipper in the back on both blouses because a whole lot easier to get on. And I can just pull it up from the floor actually. And this is Simplicity 1461. And I believe it's still available. So I've already done a how-to on this one if you want to watch it. But yeah, that is a really, the lemons make that blouse. Although when I was looking at my video, when I was editing it, with the lemons on, I thought what I should have done was put the mass of lemons up here at the top and put the more of the blue, dark blue with just a little bit of lemons on it down at the bottom. And that way, the, the wide part would have broadened my shoulders and then the dark part would have narrowed me down here. So if I had more of those lemons, I think I'd make it again and try it upside down. <laughs> but I love that blouse. I love it so much I hardly ever wear it. <laughs> I said I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to have to wash it. So You know, when you wash things very much, it just, just changes. Is it called the hand of them? So I don't want to... Uh, wash it more than I have to. There are some things I make that are just more special to me than other things that I make. You know, like these things, I could make three of these a day. They're no big deal. Um, in fact, I didn't even hem the bottom of this. Oh, but gosh, it's nice. It didn't even need to be hemmed. Look, it hangs straight. It doesn't roll up. Oh, this is really nice knit. Mm, that's nice knit. So I've got to get back to the private project. I have two of these <laughs> I'm working on right now with the with the this stuff on the front <laughs> I hope he doesn't watch this <laughs> he was in his office yesterday and I saw that he had the comments up from our shine website and I went <gasps> website and checks the comments there. 
<laughs> I have to be really careful what I say. YouTube will put a picture of me holding up those two things. You watch. It will choose that to show you as a picture, and I'll have to change it. <laughs> That's what always happens. I know, I need to stand up real close and smile, and then YouTube will pick that. <laughs> Let me try. Hi, everyone. <laughs> All right, I stood real close to the camera. <laughs> but the lighting, the lighting, you know the lighting issues. Anyhow, going to let you go for today. Hope you all have a wonderful last day of your three-day holiday. And I'll be back as soon as I can be. Bye for now. Bye, Colin. <laughs>